Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about the different properties of subtraction. But before we learn that, let us quickly revise the few important terms which are related to subtraction. Do you know what are the terms that are used in subtraction? The number which we subtract from the other number is called the minuend. It is the larger number. The number that is being subtracted or taken away from the minuend is called the septuagint. It is the smaller number. The answer that we get after subtracting is called the difference. In the example shown here, 463 is the minuend, 311 is the septuagint, and the result, 152 is the difference. We can clearly see that 463 is greater than 311, which means the minuend is greater than the septuagint. Remember, the minuend always comes before the septuagint, so in the equation form, we can write it as minuend minus septuagint is equal to difference. Now, let us learn about the four different properties of subtraction one by one. Let us begin with the first property of subtraction. According to this property, when zero is subtracted from a number, then the answer, that is the difference, is the number itself. Let us understand this with an example, where we have two numbers, 673 and zero, where zero is the subtrahend. When we subtract zero from 673, we get the difference as 673, that is the number itself. This property is also known as the zero property of subtraction. Next, we will understand the second property of subtraction. According to this property, if we subtract a number from itself, the difference is zero. Let us understand with an example. If we subtract 352 from 352, we get the answer as 0. So this example clearly shows that when we subtract a number from the number itself, the difference is 0. The third property of subtraction. According to this property, when we subtract 1 from a number, the difference obtained is the predecessor of the number, where predecessor means the number just before the given number. Let us understand with an example, where we have the numbers 563 and 1, where 1 is the subtrahend. When we subtract 1 from 563, we get the answer as 562, that is 562 is the predecessor of 563. Lastly, we will understand the fourth property of subtraction. According to this property, in subtraction, the order in which the numbers are subtracted is very important. Let us understand this with an example. Let us take two numbers, 734 and 121. When we subtract 734 minus 121, and when we subtract 121 minus 734, the answer which we get is not the same. Therefore, the difference which we get by subtracting 734 minus 121 is not equal to the difference which we get by subtracting 121 minus 734. So the above example clearly shows that in case of subtraction, we cannot change the order of the numbers. Always remember, in case of subtraction, when two numbers are given, the smaller number is always subtracted from the greater or the bigger number. If you think you have understood the concept well, do give a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever we post any such educational videos. So keep watching, stay safe.